Okay. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. I hope hope everyone is good. I hope you're fantastic. This is another day the Lord has made. We need to be happy and be grateful and celebrate. I'm excited for today. My name is Kofi Adjiman, aka Mr. PTP. I'm a Platinum 5000 in this wonderful academy, AFA Academy. Team Excel, if you're a Team Excel, put a number five. If you're part of AFA somewhere, put a number four. If you're in Team Excel, put a five. Part of AFA, put a number four. If you're part of I Am Mastery Academy, put a number seven. Let's go, let's go, let's go, jeez. Let's go, guys. I'm really honored and I appreciate every single person that comes into this weekly call. I always say this is the most important call of the week. If you agree with me, put a number three. If you agree that trading psychology is the most important call of the week, put a number three. Thank you. Tell your teammates, yeah? Tell those ones that are blowing their accounts. Tell those ones that are struggling to trade. This is, uh, Alicia's here. Alicia, get your whole team on this call, please. <laughs> this is the most important call of the week. All right. So if you are new, please put a number one. If you are new, this is the first call we've ever been on. Put a number one. We would love to welcome you and celebrate you. Is there anybody that's new on the call today? Let us see. Put a number one. If this is the first time you've been on this call. Lindsay, everyone let's celebrate Lindsay. Welcome, Lindsay. Lindsay, Lindsay. Nick's put a number two. If it's the first time, put a number one. Oh, let's welcome Nick, please. Lindsay and Nick, what team are you in? Whose team are you on? Whose team are you in? I want to make sure everyone feels Nick is one of mine. Katie? What's your team? First act, Samantha. First. Oh, welcome, Samantha. Let's go. Okay. I hope you guys are going to get value in some nuggets. If you haven't been on Meet the Mentor, if you're on my team, if you're on FTA, part of Team Excel, then World Creation Hub, the Talbots. Oh, okay. Talbots. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You're going to love it, Samantha. Hey, Samantha. All right. Anyone part of Team Excel, make sure you jump on my calls every single Friday, meet the mentor, which I break down everything. I break down this whole academy, Christopher Terry, chairmans, trading, all of that, every Friday, 7 p.m. So make sure if I've never met you before and you're part of Team Excel, then we touch base. Please follow me um, on my socials. Follow me now, do that actively right now, uh, at Kofi underscore Texel. It's gonna be dropped out in group chat. Thank you, Pammy. Uh, also, my Facebook, Kofi Edgeman. Yeah, at Kofi underscore Texel and my Facebook, Kofi Edgeman. Follow me on YouTube. Every bit of content gets put on YouTube. Comment, like, and subscribe, youtube.com forward slash Kofi Edgeman 7. All right, everything is put on there. All right, so if you miss a session because due to work, follow there. All right. Trading journal, please get yourself a trading journal. If you're new to this, please get yourself a trading journal. They can be ordered on the AMI Finance website. The link is in the group chat. Guys, I'm excited for today. Let's talk, before I drop some nuggets, let's talk. Who had a profitable week last week? Put a number seven. If you made money last week from trading. I put a seven. I made money. Cool. Wow. I'm seeing the sevens again. I'm seeing a lot of sevens. Jeez. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Put a number six. If you didn't make money last week, let's talk about it. If you, I see a whole bunch of sevens. Put a number six. Okay. Okay. Let's ask the question. Brad had a week off. Yeah, there's, it's always good to take a break. Let's talk about it. The ones that didn't make money last week, please tell me why. Like, let me know some of the reasoning. Okay, Courtney, okay, love it. Courtney didn't follow my rules. Bex is bad head, wow, bad head space. Nick's new, yeah, Nick, it's cool, like, you're new. It's Okay, Ashley focused on building something on the charts. Okay, Lisa's, okay, cool. So one thing that Courtney said 
And Courtney, you know, when you start writing messages, I'm going to ask questions. Courtney said, didn't follow my rules. So I'm going to go straight to Courtney and I'm going to ask her. Let's talk about it. Because one thing I love to do on this, on this, on this um, platform, I really want to make sure everyone gets an opportunity, okay, to speak and share. Can't speak, but can mess message, okay. Courtney can't speak. Bex, can you speak? Bex said she had a bad headspace. Can you, can you speak? Courtney, write your message in the group chat. Let's see. Okay, no, no, I'll, 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 I'll mute you, it's cool. So I'm gonna go to Bex. And this is, guys, one thing about this call, I want us to be transparent. Can everyone write transparency in the group chat? Because we're here to help. This is not like, no one's Superman over here. All right, so I want everyone to be able to just share. Hey, Bex. Hey. Right, let's, let me spotlight you so we can see you. So tell us your story, what happened? Oh, last week was probably a week from hell. It was just crazy. So we've got this free trial going on and there was about 500 people on it. And it was, it's trying to deal with everyone on the free trial, making sure they're being looked after and everything. And then it was trying to get time to do my trading development, but then I was kept on looking at my phone. So I was like rushing trades. And because my head was everywhere, my trading was everywhere. It was just red. It was just horrible. And it really did reflect what I was feeling that week. And because I was feeling rubbish and seeing my trades like that, it just made me feel even more rubbish, thinking I can't trade. That's what my emotions were telling me because I was stressed. I can't trade anymore. Wow. Guys, <laughs> can we celebrate Bex for that transparency moment? <laughs> Bex. And this is like I feel that and this is the thing Bex by you speaking first it's going to allow other people to express how they're feeling and this is the thing you know on these calls guys I've been I've been I've been crying on these calls I've I've been crying on these calls like I keep it real guys one thing about me what you see is what you get I I'm not higgy haga not one minute I'm a, like I'm real to the deal I started this because I lost I lost 11,000 in one week this is, this is the whole reason why this call started. Because I lost 11K, I made 8K in two weeks, 11K in one week, and it was the mindset. So I'm now gonna ask someone else, let's, let's talk to, to someone else who has been through something where they wanna share about the transparency. Right, so let's talk about, let me read Courtney's one. Courtney says, I follow the DeLorean rules. But I've gotten into a habit of over <laughs> of over leveraging by placing two trades rather than waiting for the trades to PP and then enter. That means the Patrick push. All right, that's a particular strategy. I'm struggling to work out how to manage trading also work. This is my first job since starting to trade, so it's a struggle. Can we just celebrate Courtney for that transparency? I will read it again. I follow the DeLorean rules, but I've gotten into a habit of over leveraging. Okay, so Courtney, you don't follow the DeLorean rules. <laughs> That's like, ah, oh, straight away, <laughs> you don't. Let's, let's talk about that again, you don't. He says, I follow the DeLorean rules. And this is what I've realized you can actually deceive yourself. Put number seven, if sometimes you can actually deceive yourself into believing you're disciplined as a trader. This is for everyone. You can actually deceive yourself into believing you are a disciplined trader. So the first statement is you don't follow the, the DeLorean rules. Then it says, I've gotten into a habit of over leveraging by placing two trades rather than waiting for the trades to PP, then enter. So can you see the struggle already? What's happening is because you're anxious, because you're impatient, you would rather, ooh, I'm dropping a nugget here. You would rather lose money than be disciplined. I'll say again, because you're anxious, because you're impatient, 
And I'm saying it like that for you to understand, you would actually rather lose money than follow your disciplines. The next part is I'm struggling to work out how to manage trading and also work. This is my first job since starting to trade, so it's a struggle. Right, so the, this, this is two parts, isn't it? Because she's now trying to find out the best times to trade. So Courtney, all I wanna do is to encourage you what I suggest, listen to Uncle K, whether you do it or not, I don't know, but listen to Uncle K. I would suggest going on to demo to find your rhythm. Yeah, rhythm. Rhythm has your two hips moving. <laughs> R-H-Y, yeah? Find your rhythm. Find your rhythm of going on to demo and finding out what is the best time for me to trade? Because I was trading whilst I was working as well. And I was trading in the mornings, okay? It would break a zone, retest the zone. I would look, enter. I would have everything marked up beforehand, then I would look and enter. All right? So you need to find a rhythm. And whatever rhythm that is, test it out. What did my cousin say? Who remembers what my cousin said? Dax King. What did he say? Who remembers? How many times does he backtest? My cousin backtested 200 times to make sure his system was profitable. Mm -hmm. Okay, people are now starting to talk to me now. Bradley said, so guys, the title of today is Less Is More. So we're gonna come to that. Less is more. I'm just, I'm just trying to help someone today. Brad says, I recently failed my funded trial. That's why I had a week off. Now, Bradley, I'm gonna ask you a question. When you had a week off, you failing your funded, what did you do? Did you recalibrate or did you commiserate? I'll say it again. Did you, woe is me? Or did you reflect and think, what can I do better? Let me find Bradley. Bradley, can you talk? Let me ask you in person. And Alicia, I'm gonna come to you next. Let's go to Bradley. Yeah, I can talk, mate. Let's talk, let me find y'all. Is your camera on? Yeah, camera's on, mate. Let's talk. It's got that. Talk to me, sir. What happened? Right, so I was, I was flying. I was absolutely flying. I got my 10% in 14 days. Obviously, I had to continue trading. And my, my percentage was like, my win rate was like 85%. So I was absolutely buzzing. And then I, I was like, I told that to can you continue trading? So as I, as I was, I thought, right, I'm flying, so I've got nothing to worry about. So I tried to put a next trade on and it lost. I thought, right, I've got nothing to worry about. I'm back down just under my 10%, but I've got nothing to worry about. My win rate is good. And then it just kept, so I kept on losing and losing and losing. And I started over trading. And I wasn't over leveraging, I was just over trading and it just went downhill. And then my, I was trading on emotion, chasing it. And then that was it, mate. Guys, can we celebrate Brad right now? Can we celebrate him? And let's 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 talk about it. So you've got to, so you hit ten percent. Is that correct? Or you hit that is correct. Yeah, I was at one hundred and ten thousand and two hundred. I've done it in just over just under fourteen days. All right. And I had to trade for the full thirty day term. Right. This is this is what I'm gonna. It's so funny. My director, Pammy, said the same thing that I was going to say to you. Pammy said to me, and actually, Pammy, write it in the group chat. Because exactly what I was just about to ask you is what Pammy wrote to me. But I think she sent me by accident. Okay, Pammy says, my question is, once you had achieved 10%, why did you keep trading? That's the question I'm going to ask you. Because right. I was advised to. I was advised that I had to keep trading. Because if I didn't, if I stopped trading... The uh, company that I was going through with the trial, they wouldn't, they wouldn't have liked it apparently. So I was told. All right. So what you could have done is this, and and I'm saying this to you because you're gonna you're gonna pass. Yeah. Clearly, you can trade, right? You're gonna pass. This is what we're gonna do. You're gonna bang out ten percent. Then you're gonna open trades at zero point zero five. What? Right. Zero point one zero. Because all they want to see is that you're consistently trading. Right. Okay. And, yeah, because what happens is people think, oh, I've hit 10% and then let me um, let me keep trading at the same lot size. No, 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 no. All they said, they just wanted to see you trading. 
What? So some people, some people have passed trade. Some people banged it out in one day and have opened trades like 0 0.01, 0 0.02, maybe as a standard. So you're, you're kind of mixing and matching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, was, I was kicking myself a little bit as well because I was trading on the 1% trades. Yeah. And I, I, I lowered my lot size. So I didn't want to be looked like a risky trader. So I lowered my, I lowered down to 0.5%. So then I was kicking myself because if I'd have stuck to my 1%, I would have passed it in four days and I would have made that 10 days. You know what I mean? So I was kicking myself, really, really kick myself. That's why I thought, you know what? I need to have a week off because the first mistake I made was I lowered my, my percentage. The second mistake I made is I over trades. I thought, well, no, I just need to have a week off just to reset because two for more than two, like four mistakes that I made. I didn't follow my own rules. Okay. So this is what I want to say, Brad. And I, I want you to let me know once you pass it because you've got it in you. You've got it in you. You've definitely got it in you. It's just strategies and systems. So, for example, yeah. bang out 10%, stop trading, or yeah. open up small, small um, yeah. <clears throat> positions to show that you're being consistent and average it out. So some of them 0 0.01, 0 0.5, put a standard in there somewhere, but yeah, something yeah. it's not going to damage your criteria. Okay? Yeah. Because the worst thing is what people don't realize is there's something called a losing streak. Yeah. And that's what and I had. Massively. Bro, it's happened to me. Yeah. Happened to me. <clears throat> I banged out 8%. <clears throat> and because I was so chilled in my last week, I had a losing streak. So we want to have our losing streaks way before the trial's done. Do you get what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Brad, you've got this. At least you've you've realised what you've done wrong. So yeah. you know, that's, that's good to talk about as well, man. I really appreciate that. No, no. I mean, that's why we're here because I yeah. don't want people to be all fake and oh, guys, I'm winning it. No, that's not trading. We have ups, we have down, but it's about being consistent. Yeah. Guys, let's celebrate Brad, please. Let's celebrate Brad. Thank you so much. Thanks, everyone. Brad. Cheers, Kofi. Thanks, mate. No problem. No problem. Right, let me read some of the messages. Right. <clears throat> um, Zara's like trading on emotions. Isn't it our choice? Oh, I think Nick was just basically trade tiny lots then. Oh, so everyone's basically saying the same thing I said. As long as you hit your 10%. Yep, yeah, Pammy's saying the same thing. Yep, yeah, exactly. Oh, I'm reading. I don't understand that all you need to do. Yeah, Lorraine. <laughs> Lorraine saying, I didn't understand. Listen, Lorraine, all they say, tra trade for 10 days. That's what they care for. They want to see that you're consistent. So what I'm saying is, okay, do your trading. This is if you're doing FRX, by the way, guys. Do your trading and then open, maybe open up a standard. Just one trade that's a standard or, or 0 0.50. Some of them 0 0.01. Play about with it, but don't do your normal lots. Don't do like 10 lots or don't do like 12 lots or don't do seven lots. Just do it, but just trade every single day. Open it and close it because you followed their criteria. Okay. Um, Gaelic says, the past few weeks have been my best constantly ever. And the only loss I had was because I just didn't stop. I guess because I think I'm invisible and just went more faster. That's greed. Okay, so a Gaelic is working on greed issues. Zara says, trade what you see, not what you think. That's a nugget, boy. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Where is the balance? All right, Alicia. Let me talk to you, Alicia, and then I'll drop some nuggets. Alicia, can you speak? Let me know. Okay, yeah, I'm here. Where your face at? Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't want to, but it's all good. <laughs> oh, you, you best be ready. When I when I call your name. Hi everybody. Hi Kofi. Thanks so much for this. I'll find you. I'm trying to find your face. You do and just your servant heartedness, like you're listening. Oh, thank you. Um so guys, can I be real with everybody? Is that <laughs> all right? <laughs> be real. This is what we're here. Is that all right? I I've I spend most of my time trying to be that strong leader. Nothing phases me, nothing holds me back, nothing sets me back. Strong, strong, strong. And I find that I let my health grow, which obviously, as a lot of you know, is very important and um, has been very stressed and um, pressed recently. Um, 
not just recently for a long time, but mostly like in the last year or so. And um, I, I'll be honest, I find it hard to be real with people because of that. I don't like to look weak or like I'm a mess and all of this stuff, especially to my team. You know, I want to be that backbone, that strong, vigorous, you know, action taker, example and all of that. So I'm very, very hard on myself. And, um, you know, with, with this newfound excitement and passion for trading and learning how to do it better and better and better, I have to be honest that my health, I, I'm not focused on it. You know, like I, I push it aside a lot because of the time that, you know, the schedules and things like that and my meetings and the trainings and the flies I have to create and the people I have to get back to, the presentations I'm, I've been doing. Um, kind of a bit of a one woman show at the moment, but that's a whole nother uh, conversation. <laughs> but um, yeah, just finding it hard to uh, find that balance. I always have to be honest, but in the, in the past, because I was healthier and I had more energy to do what I needed to do, it wasn't such an issue. Now I have to be really careful because, you know, just pushing myself too hard, can, I can end up back in the hospital, quite frankly, and all worse than that. And I have to really kind of find a way to still be able to push beyond that run to like P1000 and all of the, and et cetera, chair lady, build my team, be there for my team, but also keep stepping up and keep having that progress for myself and my own personal development. So I find wow. it really difficult. <laughs> Can we just celebrate Alicia for her vulnerability? Put a number seven in the group chat. <clears throat> Put a, a number seven. Let's celebrate Alicia. Thanks, guys. Um, I haven't, I haven't finished. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you. Okay. In the group chat, please write health is wealth. Put that in capital letters right now. Health is wealth in the group chat. Okay. So Alicia... I'm going to talk to you personally in front of everyone. Um, you are amazing. Listen to me carefully. Mm. And this is recorded so you can watch it back. And I want you to watch it back. Listen to what I'm going to say to you. You are amazing. The amazingness that's within you, the giftedness that's within you, the talent that you have, the grace that's upon your life that's within you is second to none. Yes, I know I'm doing this and I, I, I did, I'm doing this on purpose because you need to know publicly. I'm here to tell you that we as a family love and support you. Do you understand that? We as a family, we love and support you. We don't want to see you suffer in silence. S-I-S, sis, hear that? Sis, we don't want you to suffer we don't want to see you suffer in silence. So when you're trying to be a strong leader, you're suffering in silence and crumbling within, within yourself. That's not allowed. From today, that's got to stop. One thing that I love about Bryony, one thing about myself, I tell it how it is. One day I came on the call, I was crying. They're like, why are you crying? I said, listen, because I'm, I'm not feeling good. I don't feel right. But you're here. The, the, the grace you give us, the trainers you've given us in regards to building your business, the nuggets you've given us, the value you've given us is coming back to you. See, once you send out love, love has to come back to you. When you sow, it has to come back. And so that's why I'm doing it publicly. I'm saying publicly, us as AFA, Team Excel, people in Iron Mastery Academy, we celebrate you. Now you know that we celebrate you, you love you and care, you, care for you, now have people to rely on. You are not a one man band. We are a support system. In the group chat, everyone writes support system. Support system. This is why I say this is the most important call of the week because I don't want anyone to say, oh my gosh, I grow my account by 15%, like I'm an amazing trader. Shut your mouth. Because what's gonna happen, you're gonna have pride and ego and you're gonna lose your trades because of pride. But when you're vulnerable, when you're humble, it comes to you. Alicia, health is wealth. The most important thing is your health. Guess what I'm now going to do? I'm going to speak to you offline. I'm going to reach out to you offline. I'm going to ensure that you put yourself first. You don't have to be strong for no one. You see me, when I, you see, I'm a man of faith, guys. So when I'm struggling, I look upwards. 
That's how I keep myself strong. When I'm struggling, I look up. Because it says, cast your cares unto him for he cares. Now, some of you don't even believe, guys. You don't have to believe what I believe. But as someone that I love, his name is Jesus Christ. And what he says is that, cast your cares onto him for he cares for you. So what I do when I'm stressed, I don't have the stress. I give it to God and like, God, you care for me to give me something of reassurance. And he says to me, I love, I love you, son. And that keeps me strong. So guess what? Alicia, the inner work in me, the grace that I have is because I'm strengthened within. So Alicia, I'm going to just decree something. You are amazing. I decree you're amazing. I decree you're, you know what I'm going to say? God, as you've healed me from sickle cell anemia, I, I command that you're healed as well. I haven't been sick for 12 years. Every time I go to the hospital, they don't understand. I decree healing to you. I decree love and prosperity. CSI, I'm going to speak to you. Guys, send us some love in the group chat. Send us some love in some group chat. Thank you so much for being vulnerable. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Didn't expect that to happen. But guys, this is the truth. You see, so many people, so many people are going through something, but they don't share. Listen, guys, share. We are a community. And guys, when you come onto my calls, when you come onto team, listen, if you're on Team Excel, one thing I say to every single person is that we are a family. Look. Family, community, culture, service. And by the way, guys, what are you looking at? You see, what are you looking at every day? What are you viewing? You see, if you're breaking your rules, it's because you're not seeing your rules. If you're breaking your rules, it's because you're not seeing your rules. Wherever I go, I see what I'm doing. I have to see, you see, wherever, wherever your vision is, that's where your heart is. So what can you see? What can you see before you? Do you see yourself as a failing trader? Or do you so, see yourself as an abundant trader? In the group chat, say, I am an abundant trader. Some of you people think this is airy fairy stuff. Fam, it ain't airy fairy. You've got to change your mindset to receive the results. Say, I am an abundant trader. I am an abundant trader. I am. Anything after the words I am is the most important thing possible. I am an abundant trader. I am an abundant trader. Because some of you are, you, you are looking at your results and thinking, oh my gosh, I'm not. Yes, you are. You are an abundant trader. Lisa says, what follows I am follows you. Jeez, Lisa's got some bars and nuggets right there. What follows I am follows you. Let's go. All right. So right in front of you, I am abundant trader. I'm, right, I'm so happy and grateful now that I made 6% of my trade per day in my trading account. I see that before me. I've got TXL, family, community, culture, service, structure, discipline, order. I am disciplined. This is what I see every day. That's who I'm becoming. Less is more. So we've kind of hit a lot of things on the head. And the reason I entitled less is more, and even just speaking with Brad, he hit the target, but he kept trading. And he lost. But now we're coming with the mindset of less is more. What does that simply mean? Just because your trading charts are open doesn't mean you've got to take the trade. Just because you jump on a session at six o'clock in the morning doing HFX, it doesn't mean you've got to take a trade. You see, the reason I keep saying this is the most important call, because people say to me, oh, I'm not winning at trading. Oh, why not? Everyone should be winning. It's you. <laughs> you. Soldier boy, I tell him. You. Listen, I'm, I'm going to tell you. It's you. It's me. Trading works. It's the, it's the, it's the problems that we have as humans that makes it not work. Trading works. In the group chat, write the words trading works. Trading works. So I'm gonna ask everyone to ha have a view about this. What if 
we decided to trade less. Put a number nine in the group chat if you personally believe you would make more money if you traded less. And be, and be real. Jackie's like, Jackie's like me. Wow, I'm seeing the nines flying. I'm seeing the nines flying. I'm seeing the nines flying. Because I've even had to ask myself that question. Just because the charts are open doesn't mean you have to trade. Just because you open your account in HFX doesn't mean you've got to take every single trade. It's all about quality. One thing I've learned from Kenvery, the HFX trader, he will take only the best setups. He will say, yeah, that, he, he will let things go. And it's funny because I entitled this trading session, Less Is More. I was having a conversation with Pammy and I noticed something, between, the difference between me and her is that I would take the setup when I see it, but Pammy will be like, uh, I wouldn't take that. I'm like, no, it's a perfect setup, perfect. Like, and I, <laughs> I said to her, I'm not taking a particular trade. I took it anyway. And it went into profit and I, I took my money and I took the bag and ran because I knew how far it was going to go. But it wasn't the best trade. Who understands? And I remember telling her after, yeah, I took the trade. At the, I was at the gym. I said, I took the trade. But she said, I'm not going to take it. Even though all confirmations were met, she was like, the, the range is not good enough. The, the, the one to two or one, it's not good enough. And for me, I just wanted to make quick money. Like I knew what I was going to do. But I thought to myself, because when I look back at the trade, it, it just it was a mess. The trade was a mess. But luckily, because I knew how far it could potentially go, I just took money out. But if I didn't do that, I would have lost. And what I realized from even today's conversation, less is more. James Fultness even told me, he was like, bro, less is more. Less is more. Take the best trades. Now, only you can determine which are the best trades, like literally. Only like when you're in a situation, I want you to hear Uncle K's voice. I want you to hear Coach Kofi's voice in your, in your spirit. And I want you to be like, Kofi would, would have said, is this the best trade setup? And if you lose that trade, then ask yourself back, was that the best trade setup? Do you just want to be in the market? Do you just want to have that buzz, that fix? Woo, that's a word there, F-I-X, that fix. Or be on HFX and be like, oh, 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 itchy fingers. Take the trade, put, cool, oh, oh, itchy fingers. That's your problem. You need a fix. Write this down, please. Trading goes from the impatient to the patient. So money in trading goes from the impatient to the patient. I've got to hold my hands up. There are times where I'm impatient. But when you look over the whole month, was it worth it? So just to correct you guys, say money in trading goes from the impatient to the patient. So put money in trading. Yeah, sorry, I should have said that. Money in trading goes from the impatient to the patient. I'm starting to look at the month. I'm starting to look over the month and not just for short-term fixes. Tammy says, with HFX, you can make the same profit in three trades as you would make in 10. Wow. Jessica Walker said this. That's a nugget, Jessica Walker. She wants restaurants have bad weeks too. Jeez. Restaurants have bad weeks too. So to Brad, to Bex, to Alicia, to anyone that's had a bad week trading, 
It's coming home. It's coming. Trading's coming home. It's coming home. Listen, I'm telling you, all you've got to do um, is get back to your disciplines. Courtney, get back. And you see how blunt I was at the beginning? He was like, I followed the DeLorean rules. Nope, I have to call it out how it is. That's a lie. You be- that's a lie that you believe in. You don't follow the DeLorean rules because you wouldn't overtrade. You wouldn't double up. And so sometimes you need that person who's your friend to call you out. Because we can't sugarcoat our mess. <laughs> Write this. Don't sugarcoat your mess. But let your mess become a message. Don't sugarcoat your mess, but let your mess become a message. Guys, who's got value from today's session? Guys, I wanted to make it short and sweet and snappy. Short, straight to the point. I want every single person, we're going to wrap up in shortly. I want every single person. Okay, I want you to be crazy like me. Do things like this. All right. Do things like this. This is what the, the, the millionaire traders do and the millionaire builders do. They see their goals everywhere. Can you see your goals? When you're trading, can you see your goals in front of you? You see, I've got a, a vision board by my bed. And I've got this vision board that I continually carry. I've got this vision board that I continually carry wherever I go. So I can, wherever I go, I'm seeing my vision. I know the heart of uh, T- Team Excel. We are family, we're community, culture, and the service. I see that I'm disciplined because it says I am disciplined. I see my trading objectives, alerts rule. I vow to not look at my trades. I vow to never trade correlated pairs. You know, do you get what I'm saying? I have my rules in front of me. This is what I need. This is what I need. This is what I want you guys to become. Everyone's writing hashtag be more Kofi. <laughs> Oh, be more like me. <laughs> this is what I want you guys to do. Be like, if, if we all leveled up our thinking, right? If we all leveled up our thinking to the point of the millionaire traders do personal development. The millionaire traders have trading therapists. So have someone to be accountable to. The millionaire traders come on to these types of calls and communities and share and are vulnerable. What you want to do is become like a millionaire trader. This mindset has to shift. And let me tell you why, one last thing. You see, the reason why we do all the things that we're doing, because we're chasing after the money. I've made a declaration that money must serve me. Who's with me? Money must serve me. I'm t- Listen, I left my job in 2019. And I refuse to work for money. Money's attracted to me. Money must serve me. I tell money where to go. See that mindset shift? See that mindset shift? Wait, Pam, okay, Pammy, there was a nugget. Pammy, what's that bar? What is that bar that whenever you say, I'm like, oh my gosh, in regards to working for money? Pammy, just, just mute, unmute yourself. The one from, um, What's him new? What's that guy? Um, Robert Kiyosaki. Pa- uh, Pam- yeah. Hiya. So we go to school to learn how to get a job. And we get a job to make money. And we spend our whole lives working for money. But why do we spend our whole lives working for something that we don't understand? Guys, put a number eight for that. That's a nugget. That's a nugget right there. Let's break it down. <laughs> this is why trading, trading psychology is a must. We get taught to go to 
school to get good grades. Now, I used to be a school teacher, so minor. That means I understand, I know, right? We get taught to go to school to work really hard, not for thinking, but to get good grades. This is a conspiracy, and I'm gonna I'm break that. Me, ex teacher, I don't care. You are brainwashed to work so hard to get grades. Not how much have you learnt, how much have you, have you developed yourself. No, you are brainwashed to get marks uh, A, B, C, D, E, F. Or now it's the one, two, three, four, five, six. Woohoo! I'm dropping nuggets right here. I can feel it in my spirit. We don't ever get taught how to fail. Do we ever get taught how to fail? Do we get rewarded for failing? So when it comes to trading, oh my gosh, because you've never experienced failure, that's why it hurts so bad when you lose a trade. So let's talk about it again. We get taught to go to school to get marks. Yeah, Zara <laughs> dropped a nugget. We are given information in school to keep us in formation. We're given information in school to keep us in formation. You, you work so hard for, for a scoring system, a point system. Then you go to college, the same thing. University, same thing. Why? So you can get a job. A job stands for just overbroke. Just overbroke. You just get enough money just to get by. So you have a job. So you work so hard to get a job. But what Robert Kiyosaki is saying, you don't even know what money is. You don't even know what money is. How can you work so hard for something you don't understand? You don't understand money is a resource. Money in the group chat. Write the word money is a resource. You don't understand money is simply a medium of exchange. This five pound note is nothing. It's nothing. It, it has no emotion. It doesn't care for me, I don't care for it. It's a resource. Ashley says, school tests ability at the time, but not potential. Woo Ashley, that's a nugget. Ashley said one last thing. School tests your ability at the time, but not your potential. Ah, did I know I was gonna be a trader? Ashley's like mug life, I love that. Oh no, nug life, but I'm saying mug life. I didn't know I was going to be a trader. I didn't know that I was going to make more money doing what I do now than working all the years that I worked. You see, the school tested my ability for English, math and science, but I'm a creative. I'm a dancer. I'm a dancer. I'm a musician. I play drums. I'm a preacher. I'm everything that school doesn't talk about. I'm now, I'm now a trader. <laughs> but I've been more successful doing what I'm doing now than what box I was put into school. Oh my gosh, Lisa dropped in. Oh my gosh, you guys are uh, finishing. These guys are dropping nuggets. Lisa says this, school tests your memory off of other people's work. Oh, my chest. School tests, Lisa, I'm going to take that. I will credit you as well, all right? School tests your memory off of other people's work. Ah! Uh, guys, I need to end this call. <laughs> I need to end this call. There's too, there's too many nuggets. Too many nuggets. Lisa, that's a bar. School tests your memory. Guys, this is when you start to realise we've been living in a scam. School tests your memory of other people's work. And the one about potential, this is why the, the way I see the world now, my children have no pressure. You see me being African, oh, they have to go to, to, to uni. Uni, you know. I went to university to please my mum. Listen, cut, oh, my cousin's on the call. Cuz, if I know what I know now, I would have never gone. Dax King, Philip. If I know what I know now, 
I would have never gone to university. Those three years that I wasted 10,000, now it's 27,000. 9K, 9K, 9K. Imagine if I put it into trading. Ah! If I put the trading three years, oh, I'm dancing right now. Can you imagine? 2003 to 2006 when I went to university. If I learned about the financial markets right now, I'll be sipping something on a beach somewhere. That's why I'm really gonna close with this. I'm making it a point that every single person that wants to be financially independent has the access and resources to do so. Wow, Philippa says, my brother went uni, spent his life in debt. Alicia's like, my truck is overloaded. My truck is loaded, listen. This is why we're gonna share this opportunity with so many people, all right? Because people need to hear about this. There's so many people that don't even know the truth. The good book says, you shall know the truth and it shall set you free. The truth of the matter is, is very simply, stop having a job. If you love your job, that's completely fine. But your trade, like, make sure you're investing it on the side, yeah? So for everyone that has a job, keep a job, but make sure you're investing, make sure you're trading. But you wanna get to that place where you're so financially independent, you only work if you choose to. That's freedom. And I'm telling you one thing with this pandemic, time is of the utmost importance. <laughs> Pammy's finished me, I'm done, the nuggets are too much. Pammy said this, nothing wrong with having a job the problem is only having a job. Woo! Pammy, I'm going to use that too. Guys, you, you guys have so many nuggets. Nothing wrong with having a job. The problem is only having a job. Zara says, my sis, Alison, has just handed in her resignation. That's why I did to the plunge. Right, guys, I have to go. There's too much nuggets, too much. Guys, if you've got value, put a number seven. And in the group chat, just write down one thing you've taken away from this. Put, tell me one thing that you've taken from today's session. Less is more. Tell me one thing. Nugget gala. But this is like nugget gala. Well, guys, I appreciate all of you. You guys are wise, man. There's so many nuggets. I need to watch this back. You guys are dropping nuggets for days. Philippa says, I can't choose. Just, just... Don't sugarcoat your mess. Wow. Thank you, Pammy. I lost that. Let your mess be a message. Wow. Money must serve me. That's it, Lisa. Less is more. Get back to discipline. Show your vulnerability and never be afraid to ask. That's it, Lorraine. Less is that I'm so full. <laughs> Guys, I'm getting this out very, very soon. Guys, I love you. Thank you so much for your time. Money is a resource. Yes, it is. It's a medium of exchange. Wow. Health is wealth. That's it. Health, listen, health is so important. Guys, I love you. Blow up the group chat, say, oh my gosh, Kofi's call was amazing. Get them on. You have the same 40 people, same 50 people. I know people watch it afterwards, but I want more people to jump on. Guys, thank you so much. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Um, thank you again for your time. I celebrate you. Less 